Check that out, y'all. Damn! <laughs> I'm gonna have fish for weeks, months, for the whole rest of the year. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Fisherman Cut. We are back at the house. We had a good day fishing. Y'all know what we did. You saw it. Hopefully you saw it. If you didn't see it, go back and see it and come right back to this video. So we're going to go ahead and clean up our catch. Now, this is one of the things I've struggled with. Filleting a trout, a big trout. I don't know. They must be built different. I don't know what it is or I'm just lacking in skill. So as I clean this fish... I want you guys to put it down in the comment section. Give me some tips on what I need to do different to make this go as smooth as possible. I still need to uh, work on uh, sharpening knives. I mean, I've tried it and I feel like I'm sharpening them, but then at the same time, I feel like I'm damaging a knife. By the way, I've been watching my outdoor chef life. Hopefully I picked up some tips and this will go good. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna go for what I know and try to fillet this fish and get as much meat off of the bone as possible. Yo, I struggled. Yeah, I struggled. Boom! <laughs> Look at big baby. So I'm gonna cut the head off, like right around the collar. I hear people, they, they have salmon collars. What about trout collars? Anybody ever do that? I don't know. We're going to find out. So I'm going to just cut the head off with the collar. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this. This is this, this, this not be too intimidating. Let's just get into it. Cut right through there. Down to the bone. Okay. If you guys know some good knives, something that's uh, pretty affordable. I'm not trying to pay $300 for a knife, but... Something is going to get the job done for me. So I could fillet. I could cut through these stuff like this. Oh, there we go. Okay. You see all that meat right there? I'm pretty sure I could do something with it. If you guys know, let me know. But look at this. This is just the head right here. That is a trout head. I won't be throwing anything away. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all, but I'm not throwing it away. That's for sure. Look at this, though. See that? That's pretty meat. I mean, that looks like a salmon to me. We all know it's not, but at least it looks like it. There we go. Got into the skin. But my biggest struggle has been the other side. Whatever meat you left behind, I'm gonna come back for it later. I feel like I got pretty close here. All right. I'm going slow, make sure I try not to cut myself. Break through the bones. I think those are actually the pin bones. I thought that was the rib cage. That was a lot of work and took way too long. But you got to crawl before you walk. Got to learn somewhere.
I felt I was off to a good start right here. And then as it progressed, it got a little bit worse. And then came to this side. Time to get this side of the bones out. Look at that. It's not a whole lot of meat, but still. I mean, I'm gonna roast this and take the meat off. As good as it's gonna get for me. Well, that was a major struggle. As you guys can see, the struggle is real. I am definitely in need of some good tips and suggestions. I need some new knives, new techniques as far as how to clean the fish. But with that said, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And like always, if I don't see you out on the water, I'll catch you next video. Peace out.